it helps you reduce stress and anxiety and they can also bring relief on nausea and different stomach discomforts. They're a rich source of vitamins and minerals. Hello, please subscribe and click the bell. Today I'm at my country house and I'm going to tell you and show you how to make herbal tea out of the plants which I have here. So let's get started and here is the first herb I have. Yeah, and it turns out that these are flowers and they are called marigold. Even though they might look like regular flowers, super beautiful, but actually they can be really healthy to your body. So I'm going to use the petals and uh, they will actually add a glow to your cup because they're not only really refreshing, but also they improve digestion and they can also bring relief on nausea and different stomach discomforts. And it's also great that uh, when in summer you can just add the herbals on a daily basis, but for the winter you can just dry the leaves and add them to your tea. And also marigold leaves have an excellent blood clotting properties and they can even facilitate sleep. And marigold leaves protect kidney cells from inflammation as well. But before drinking such a tea, make sure that you are not allergic to it. And I guess for just a small kettle, three flowers will be enough. So I'm just going to take this one as well. Yeah, I guess that's enough. Wow, it smells so good. And even though this flower seems to be a little bit dry, well, that's not a big deal for the tea. It's gonna be okay. And we need one more ingredient for my herbal tea, and that's going to be the black currant. Oh, and by the way, I also have the sorrel here. It's also really healthy, but about that a little bit later. Well, even though there are no berries left because it's the end of the summer, we still can use the leaves. And uh, for the herbal tea, I will need just several of them. And uh, you can either just drink it together with marigold, or separately. And here it works really easily because you can dry the leaves and drink the tea in the winter. And of course I prefer the fresh leaves because they are much more delicious. Wow, it smells so good. It smells just like the cranberries. Well, and I guess uh, this amount will be just fine for one small kettle. So now let's pick some more. And I guess one of the greatest herbal tea is lemon balm. Wow, it smells so good. I just love it because it helps you reduce stress and anxiety and also promote sleep. So I usually dry some leaves just for the winter for me to drink this delicious herbal tea. And again, you can uh, drink it on its own or mix it up with the other leaves. And you can basically do the same with the marigold and drink it on its own. So, and here is the raspberry bush. It's a bit sad I can't show you the berries because, well, we are out of them. But still, you can use the leaves to make a really delicious tea. So I'm just going to pick a couple of them. I guess that would be enough. And just like all the previous herbs, raspberry leaves are really healthy for you. They're a rich source of vitamins and minerals and they even may keep your blood pressure in a health range and reduce the risk of stroke. And also red raspberry leaves are recommended to use as a tonic to encourage weight loss. So let's sum it all up. We've got marigold petals, blackcurrant leaves, raspberry leaves, and a little bit of lemon balm leaves. And now let's make the tea. So now I'm ready to make the tea. I've already boiled some water and I've washed all of the leaves. It's really important to do that. And you can either use a small pot or this French press. I prefer this one because it's easier. And now I'm just going to mix it all together. It doesn't really matter what goes first because everything is going to be like mixed together. So first I'm going to put inside these marigold petals. They're really beautiful and they're going to be really tasty. And then I'm gonna add uh, the leaves. For a more refreshing taste, you can easily tear them up into smaller pieces. And I'm just going to do the same with the other leaves and it doesn't really matter if they're small or big. 
And now I'm just going to press them all together. And as I've got more leaves, I'm just going to do the same, just tear them into pieces and put them on the top of uh, the flowers. And I would also recommend you to add a teaspoon of honey if uh, you like it. I prefer it without any. Wow, it just smells so good, I like it. And next I'm just going to pour some water in. It must be boiled and I can already smell the tea. Mm. And then you just need to put the lid on. But first leave the plunger up so that uh, the tea leaves have lots of room to expand. And I'm just going to leave this for about 20 minutes for the tea to brew really nicely. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and now I guess the tea is ready and I'm going to taste it. And as it's pretty cool outside, I'm pretty excited to drink this tea. And what you do is you put your plunger down and pour out your tea now. Wow, just check the color, it's so orange. But if you prefer your tea a little bit stronger, you can leave it for like a longer period of time. So now I'm just going to pour it out in my beautiful cup. And if you prefer, you can add some sweeteners like sugar or honey, but I prefer it on its own. So the final moment, let's taste it. Mmm, it's so delicious. I love this refreshing flavor. Wow, it tastes like uh, slightly sweet and a little bit grass-like, but overall the taste is mild and fruity. Well, and if you prefer some sweeteners, it might seem kind of bitter. Or if you prefer it to be a little bit sour, you can add a slice of lemon. So this is one of my favorite pastimes in late summer, just to go out on the porch and drink a cup of this delicious healthy tea. How about I show you around my garden? Here are the cucumbers. They're pretty small and super delicious. And I'm going to make pickles out of them. And I've picked almost all of them. That is why you might not see any of them right now. But they were there. But as you can see, there are some flowers here and there is going to be more of them. So let me show you my peppers as well. And by the way, I'm not only going to save my tea for the winter, I'm also going to refrigerate some of the veggies like uh, the peppers. I'm just going to cut them in slices and refrigerate them. And this way you can eat fresh veggies even in the winter. And check my peppers, you see how big they are. And I guess in one of the next videos, I'm going to tell you how to refrigerate them and save them for the winter. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment. Bye bye!